I am Carrie Kirkham, and this is Sipping with the Wine Fox. With me, I have Trey Leone, 2015 Red Blend from Winery Whitehall Lane in Napa. Whitehall Lane is run by three generations of the Leo Nodini family, and uh, hence Leo the Lion. And uh, so this is the Red Blend beautiful dark red blend. It is uh, Cabernet, Merlot, Syrah, and Zinfandel. And it has a really interesting color, but also it's not very clear. It's a little bit turbid, which leads me to believe that maybe it's not filtered. Um, and it certainly does taste like maybe it isn't because it has some wildness and complexity. Mm. So it was all fermented and aged in French and American oak separately and then blended together by winemaker Jason Moulton, which I think is great. That's really crafty to, to separate everything out and then bring it together in a way that you think is balanced. And this wine is all about balance. It is absolutely beautiful. The price point is between $22 and $25, but this definitely outdrinks its price point. It is a beautiful wine. Mm. Mm. Very good. Now, doing research on this wine, I found out that a wine publication rated this an 87. I really cannot stand the numeric system of rating wine. It's really unfair because you don't know how that wine was showing at that given point. Was it served at the proper temperature? Was the journalist in a good mood? What did the journalist have for lunch? How many wines did that journalist taste in the lineup? And did that journalist have palate fatigue by the time it reached this wine? This wine is not, not an 87, no way. Considering its price point and how it was made, even just tasting it, I put it as a 92, easily a 92. But see, here I am putting a number to it, and that's just, that's the problem. <sighs> Very tough conundrum. The best thing is to um, find someone you trust, either a friend who has a palate similar to you or a wine professional who will get to know you, who will get to know your palate, ask you questions and listen to the answers and put bottles that will appeal to you um, based on how things taste and not on a numeric value. Mm. Beautiful wine. Um, I, I, I am a packaging nut. I love packaging, so I admit uh, I bought this wine for two reasons. One, I tasted the previous vintage, the 2014 Trey Leone, at a Young's Market um, Autumn Showcase. It was for the trade, and I loved it. I thought it was great. But then they, they changed their label with this new release, the 2015, and it's absolutely beautiful. So I used to run a bottling line, a small bottling line, for the winery where I was an apprentice. And so I know how difficult it is uh, sourcing bottles, labels, corks, foils, and then running the uh, bottler. So this is one continuous label, and it has just a little bit of space. One thing that's tough about labeling wine is the front and back label and maintaining the proper space as the spool wear wears down. Sometimes it can have an effect on how a wine label is spaced. Like, this space may be bigger than this space as the as it winds down but it was brilliant that they used a one-piece label so beautifully great font on the back beautiful crisp colors and a, a subdued foil that covers the whole bottle i also like this deep punt this is like the a, a more expensive type bottle the glass isn't too heavy but it does have some weight to it so they put the money into the design of the label and the glass and this is where they cheaped out was the cork but that's okay uh, it's an aglo cork I'd rather have the money put into the wine in the bottle 
and then just the overall appearance. Uh, I One of the reasons why I bought this wine was I've been selling it at my store to my customers uh, based on the previous vintage, how good it was, and I thought, you know, with their upgraded packaging, I bet you anything they've upgraded the winemaking a little bit too. And I do think this is better than the 2014. The 2014 was fantastic, but this is really, really good. I, I strongly recommend it. So what started happening was I started selling out of this. I have um, a one facing on the shelf with six bottles and week after week I was selling out so now I'm going to have to have a two facing to maintain demand for this wine based on my recommendations and now the wine is selling itself. I don't have to. Um, so another thing, the, the label was designed by a Canadian artist named Jackie Oakley and this was originally uh, an, an oil on canvas painting designed for uh, an album for a Canadian band called Two Crown Kings. And uh, they, or Two Crown King, and they had uh, an album in 2011. So this is what that, this is what the painting's from, which I thought was interesting. Um, so you might want to look up the artist and check it out. Uh, I just, I love design. And I love that the Whitehall Lane website mentioned the artist, mentioned the winemaker. I love to know the craft behind things. That really matters to me. And with that, I say, mm. cheers and carpe uvum.